Hi two threes, welcome to art this week. Uh, we're going to do bees in a jar. So it is drawing a jar, drawing some bees and some flowers um, in a jar. Okay, just to continue with our spring theme. So I've just got a normal piece of paper, just a white piece. You can use whatever paper you've got at home. And the first thing is to draw a jar. Okay, so I start with the lid. I might do it upside down so you guys can see. So I start with a lid, so which is basically a bit like an icy pile stick. Okay, and does it matter what sort of jar you've got? So you can have a big sort of round, a bit like a honey pot. You could probably do if you wanted to, and then across the bottom. That's whatever you can draw. Okay, so to make it look like a bit of a top, put those bits in there. All right, now how to draw some bees. Okay, I'm going to show you very quickly. So with my yellow texture, we draw an oval shape, or an egg shape, like that. Okay, because bees are black and yellow. And then we can put on a couple of stripes. Now my bee is going to be flying. That's his eye this side. And we need a wing. So we put a wing and then another wing behind that wing. And of course, bees have got a little stinger on their bottom. So there is our bee, one bee drawn, okay? So what I want you to do this week is put lots of bees in here and some flowers. So it's bee practice drawing and flowers. So again, we've been doing flowers and things from our garden. So that combined it with some pencil work as well. Don't do everything in texture. Okay, text is good for outlining, but pencils are great for colouring. Okay, and adding detail. So I'll show you what I mean when we can add some detail to our flower using a texture. So we can add some lines in our flower just to make it um, a little bit more realistically. Or realistic looking I should say and then our stem okay so in the bottom of my jar I've put a little bit of dirt in my jar so that flowers are growing in and then you can put a little bit of grass in your jar so you're basically creating a little spring picture in a jar okay so I really want you to get a little bit creative you can put other things in in your jar um, different colored flowers maybe a couple of butterflies whatever you might like put a few in there do your texture add a little bit of detail in your uh, artwork as you go with your texture don't color in everything with texture Okay, it's great for just adding a little bit of extra highlights or texture in your artwork. So I want you to fill your, your jar, okay, with bees and flowers, colour in your lid, so nice and firm on the edge to make it look round. So we're going to add a little bit of value and then a little bit lighter across as we go so it makes the lid look like it's round so dark and then a little bit lighter okay so we're adding some value which is like sort of like shading from dark to light into the center okay so once your jar is full of bees and flowers uh, you can cut it out and place it on another piece if you want to 
or you can just leave it on that white piece. Okay, so when you finish, take your picture, upload it to Seesaw, and I hopefully I can see lots of jars with beads in them. Okay, happy yarning!